and welcome back to Block TV. It's time for Suck My Blockchain, which I really like saying. It means that every day our team of journalists scour the World Wide Web to give you anything and everything you may have missed on your feed and to give you all of that. Joining us today is Aron Spitzer. Aron, what is trending? So scams are everywhere. A Reddit user reposted the following to the cryptocurrency subreddit, um, adding that the scam that is volatility and fees, uh, that's what they added to the post. So the original post was by crypto enthusiast Nebraskan Gunner, where he wrote about this his Coinbase experience. So he bought $50 of ETH and then instantly sold for USD. And with fees, that quickly kind of turned into $45. Um, a user kind of questioned Nebraskan Gunner's motives, and I think rightly so. Um, he wrote in a comment, why did you buy ETH and instantly sell for USD? Wouldn't it make more sense to just deposit US dollars? Which does absolutely make sense. Another mocked the guy writing, I tried my absolute hardest to lose as much money on fees and bid ask spread as I could, and I did. The next one uh, was, I'm surprised he didn't close his 401k pay the penalty, then buy and sell on Coinbase. Um, and last, with the perfect sentiment, another guy wrote, exactly, this guy is a moron, and I would agree. Well, you know, sometimes um, one just needs to feel like a moron. I don't know where the hell that came from. But <laughs> yes, what else? So there, uh, there are not too many rules in the crypto sphere, but some believe that the golden rule is to always buy the dip. Um, in a Reddit post, an absolutely delicious bowl of guacamole with the works is featured, a Bitcoin dip uh, chip inserted, um, and by the dip written on the front, as you can see on the screen. So probably in lieu I of love it. It's kind of like it's food that can publicize your thought. It's like the, cutting, the new cutting edge of, of advertising, isn't it? Uh, something of the sort. So it was kind of like in lieu of the price bounce, probably, that occurred on Friday. Um, everybody kind of had things to say about this, and this is like their point, right? So buy the dip. So one Redditor uh, wasn't buying it, writing that this post would have worked literally each month over the last year. Um, another is truly being a fortune teller here, saying that so many market makers are taking advantage of investor hype and addiction to blockchain. This is why we won't see a bull market for years to come. <laughs> and we have, and what I love about Redditors, and they always sum it up perfectly, right? So one Redditor writes, can someone find me the tweet where they said Bitcoin will be $19,000 by 2019? I would like to see that tweet too. And I was about to ask, did anybody find that tweet? I didn't, but I hope somebody does and they can really tag us. Okay, coming up next. It. Yes. Buy Bitcoin stamp. So a video was posted to Reddit, another Reddit, of a person stamping buy Bitcoin on what they're calling the dirty fiat. So let's take a look. <laughs> Oh, hello, my friends. And here we are on a casual Saturday afternoon. We're just stamping some dirty fiat with uh, the buy Bitcoin stamp. And then we're going to go, you know, spend the fiat. Maybe we'll go to like one of California's like legal uh, weed dispensaries or something fun. Anyway, uh, have a great Saturday and um, oh yeah, um, buy Bitcoin. Oh, Ron, before you continue, I have to ask you this. Did you in your deep reporting figure out why the dirty fiat? Sorry, that was French. <gasps> the dirty fiat is in a German accent. The dirty fiat. Um, that's what it sounds like, according to his And There's so many other things come to mind, it sounds but like okay. It. Yeah. Um, but that music, though. The music. The that mu music, though. It's like kind of a German, I don't know, art show. Oh, yeah. What's okay. for sure is that we definitely need that fiat. So uh, need to not buy that fiat. We need to buy Bitcoin. I love that's how he ended it. So um, it actually the Big Lebowski comes to mind, but I don't think you were born when that film came out. But yes, moving along. You with your references of things I haven't been around for. Um, <laughs> anyway, so commenters obviously took to Twitter, um, actually being kind of constructive, right? So one wrote, I do something like Bitcoin is better. Uh, it sounds better because uh, buy Bitcoin sounds like a sales pitch, um, I guess. Others dislike the font. And then the major thing here is that an entire dispute started on the legalities of writing on a bill. Um, is that legitimate in the US? Will I think for anybody, and darling, because you and I are originally from New York, and to a certain degree, anybody from New York would say that 
sadly, it is not illegal to write on a dollar bill. No, it is not illegal. But, but apparently in other countries it is. So good to know. And when you're abroad, don't write on your euros. I know. I'm still, I'm, the dirty cash has so many connotations, which I hope somebody's picking up the on. Dirty fiat. The dirty fiat. <laughs> the dirty fiat. Okay. Yes, moving along. John McAfee news, because that is our favorite news. Um, nobody sucks our blockchain better than McAfee. Nobody sucks our blockchain better than Mac McAfee. Okay. So, um, for whoever doesn't know, he has has been running his campaign and recently he posted a Twitter poll, his campaign for his presidential, his US presidential campaign. He posted a, a poll to Twitter saying, who would you vote for in an election? He put Trump himself and Hillary Clinton as options. Um, of over 31,000 votes, McAfee received 54% of those um, with Trump in second and Hillary in third. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, okay. Yeah. So one commenter um, abided by McAfee's rules, writing, uh, he's falling in line with what kind of McAfee has been saying. He's been running his whole campaign on this, don't vote for me, because he believes that the person who is eventually elected for the job shouldn't actually want the job. I kind of get his logic, but even still. I think still, even the current president gets his logic, his logic <laughs> but yes, and? So the commenter wrote, I don't know why the hell I would vote for you, John, after you explicitly told me not to. So, way to go for following instructions. That's commander, but, but come on, that's commander in chief power. It truly is. Um, and his commenters are truly loyal to him. Like, really, this guy doesn't get much hate on his Twitter page, which I think is fascinating. No, no it is. Something to investigate. And do next you up, believe in Bitcoin? Do so, do you? I mean, we're here, aren't we? So, in the world of crypto songs, there is a new one out by Crypto Finally, a parody of the song Do You Believe in Magic called. Do you believe in Bitcoin? <laughs> I'm really feeling this one honestly, so let's take a little bit of a look. Do you believe in Bitcoin? When the market caps down, hard think your crypto fading to bottom out. It's Bitcoin, the charts they are moving. It's a new world, and you know that we're mooning. Blockchain's growing. Um, oh, Ron, just because I'm, uh, can I, I'm going to ask you a question that the song inspires, which actually is not even a question, make a statement, say yay or nay. This is the whitest song I ever heard. This is the whitest it song is the you've whitest ever, song heard, ever heard, but okay. <laughs> the animation in this is really great. I, yeah. like, I, I think it's catchy. It's the best out of the songs that I've seen, but I think it's really funny how comments kind of differ. I was so, about to say, what, do, what did other, uh, other people think? So I initially found this on Reddit, but it's a YouTube video, so it was shared through there. And I looked through the YouTube comments, and the YouTube comments were great. Everybody was so like, we love this song. This is fantastic. The lyrics are awesome. The music is awesome. And all of this is awesome. Um, but Reddit, our not kind space sometimes, um, was a little bit more negative. So with there, it was kind of like, this song is horrible, the lyrics are terrible. And one even thought that Bitcoin shouldn't be written about in songs because it's too holy. Because it's too what? It's too holy. It's holier than thou tech. Right, like you can't say the name of God, so you can't sing the name of Bitcoin? It's too much. You can't capture it in a song. Okay. Um, uh, everybody and their beliefs and faith. Uh, is that it, honey? It is. Oh, Ron Spitzer, thank you so much. That was Suck My Blockchain for today. And of course, for us, do not forget to check us out. Block TV on Facebook, Twitter, Telegram, anywhere and everywhere. Leave us messages. We tend to read them on the air. And we'll be right back.